Many people believe that eating high cholesterol foods, such as eggs, shrimp, and full-fat yogurt, directly raises their blood cholesterol levels, but the reality is more complex. Cholesterol in food is often accompanied by other dietary fats, such as saturated fats and trans fats, which are ingested simultaneously. Understanding the distinction between cholesterol and other dietary fats can clarify why a cholesterol-free diet is unnecessary. Saturated fats and trans fats, found in foods like red meat, full-fat dairy products, and processed snacks, have a much greater impact on raising blood cholesterol levels than dietary cholesterol itself. These fats affect your blood cholesterol levels in two ways. First, saturated and trans fats can prompt your liver to produce more cholesterol, leading to an increase in blood cholesterol levels. Second, liver cells have LDL, low-density lipoprotein, receptors. When LDL cholesterol circulates in the blood, these receptors capture and remove the cholesterol, transporting it into the liver for breakdown. Research suggests that excessive consumption of saturated fat can impair the function of these receptors, causing cholesterol to build up in the blood. In summary, the cholesterol in your diet is not directly converted to cholesterol in your blood. The liver's regulation, the impact of other dietary fats, individual genetic factors, and the essential role of cholesterol all contribute to this complex relationship. The biggest influence on blood cholesterol levels is the mix of fats and carbohydrates in your diet, not the amount of dietary cholesterol you consume. Instead of focusing on eliminating dietary cholesterol, aim for a balanced diet that supports overall heart health. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.